All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use SEMrush to check keyword rankings and also how to set up ranking reports and actually export them as a proper report as well. So you can keep track of rankings for your website. So the first thing that you want to do or the first method is to set up a project and actually track the rankings. So I made a video on how to set up a project and actually how to set up the ranking report already. So go and watch that video. I'll put the link above here. But basically, you make a project in SEMrush and then in position tracking, what's going to happen is you'll set up the keywords you want it to track and then SEMrush will track them on a daily basis. So you go into the position tracking here and you can actually go and see all of the keywords that you've inputted, which SEMrush is going to track. So you can see here all the ones for one of my websites. It's tracking them all of the keywords here where they were before, where they are now, and all this other details. And then you can set the date range as well. So for instance, it will show me the position changes for the last 30 days. You can see here whether they're changing or not, etc. And what you can also do is add more. So you can add more keywords if you wanted to add more, like I just put some random ones here like that. Let's say these weren't added and then you can add them later and this will add them to this report. Now, what you can do once you've done this and you've set up the position tracking is that you can actually make a report from this. So you would go to my report and in here you can make a report that you can export with this so what you do is you can either select one of these or just make a blank report and start from scratch and you can import that position tracking into this report so what you would do on the left here you pick one so you got position tracking and you can select what you want to have so what you would do is just select position tracking keyword rankings table that's the one you would want and now you select your project and select all the details so what period etc etc what you want to show what you don't want to show hit a apply and now what's going to happen is it's going to give you what we saw in the position tracking tab or in the section here as well so you can see here we've got all these keywords we've got where they rank now the difference etc and you can obviously edit this to show different things here you can do like show last month etc i usually disable a lot of this stuff you can sort this out however you want to sort it you can go through and clean up the report do whatever but basically you can see here it shows us what the difference is from last month you can set up to have the previous day etc and then what you can do is generate the pdf report you can schedule it to email you weekly if you want and you hit generate and then it's going to you can download it so you can go here and you can just download the report and now you've got the pdf report and it can email you weekly as well that's how you can do that now that's if you want to set up the particular website as a project if you don't want to do that let's say you're trying to track a competitor or something what you can do is you can go to semrush in the domain overview and you can put your competitor in so let's say for instance you got mine I'll just pretend that's not mine and you put it in and what it's going to do is it's actually going to give you their keyword rankings for this moment in time. So you can go view details and you're going to see what keywords they actually rank for. And so it won't be tracking it as such. Eventually you get to a point where you've got either too many keywords to track or you got too many competitors or too many projects. One easy way to do it so that you don't have to keep setting up a project every time is to just throw it in here. And here you can see the current rankings at least. And in theory, you can see position changes as well. Here it will give you some information on position changes if you set it to let's say last 28 days you can see how their keywords went so you can do this for all your competitors without having to actually set up a project for every one of them so those are the main ways that you track it now you can set up the position tracking for yourself you can make a report let's say you want to send it to clients you can make that pdf report and you can track the positions of your competitors or other websites that you don't want to set up as a project so that's basically it that's how you track position rankings in semrush for various keywords if you have any questions or comments about this put them in the comments below and i will answer them otherwise if you'd like me to coach you on how to do seo and google ads for 49 dollars a month go to learndominatemarketing.com and if you'd like us to get you results with seo or google ads go to dominatemarketing.io book a call with us there catch you on the next one